Hi everybody, it's Rob from nonstopnewyork.com, my website where I give away free travel advice to people coming to NYC. Right now I'm in Times Square, where a lot of popular hotels are, and I'm going to show you how to get to LaGuardia Airport from here for the price of a subway ticket so you don't have to spend 40 to 50 bucks to take a cab. It's not hard, and I have a downloadable PDF with all the steps at nonstopnewyork.com slash subway if you want a written guide to use while you're here. Step one is really simple. We have three airports in the NYC area, so make sure your airline ticket says LGA for LaGuardia. Step two, if you can, visit mta.info and make sure you don't see any changes of service for the time and day that you plan to take the train. We'll be taking the R train to Queens, where we'll get off at Roosevelt Avenue in Jackson Heights and then get on the Q70 bus that takes us to LaGuardia Airport. As long as both of those aren't rerouted or suspended in Manhattan or Queens, we're good to go. It's also possible to take the E, F, M, and local 7 trains to Jackson Heights if those are more convenient to your hotel. I'm going to take the R since I'm right here close to the 49th Street Station. We want the uptown and Queens bound R train. At most stations you can access either track after you enter the station but not here at 49th so make sure you get on the train going in the right direction. If you're taking the R, this is the track you want, not the track that serves downtown and Brooklyn bound trains. Since you're already here in New York, I assume you have a Metro card, but if not, you can buy one here at the vending machines at the station. Some stations have a digital marquee like this so you can see when the next trains are coming. While you're waiting for the R, it's important to know that not all yellow trains are created equal. We want the R train only. There are two other yellow trains, the N and the W, stopping on this track that we don't want. This is the N train, not the train that we want. Looks like this is the R train. We're in the right place for now, so we can relax on the train while we wait for our stop, which is Jackson Heights, Roosevelt Avenue. Okay, here we are, about to get off at the Jackson Heights Roosevelt Avenue stop, where we'll transfer to the Q70 bus to LaGuardia Airport. We took the R, but there are four other trains that stop here too. This station is really well marked with signs for the Q70 to LGA, so we'll follow those at the 74th Street exit and find the bus stop. Now that we're outside, just look for the bus stall with the Q70 LaGuardia link sign and probably some other people waiting with suitcases. The Q70 is a special SBS bus, which means you have to buy your ticket before you get on at one of these machines. Just hit the start button and insert your Metro card. You get a free transfer from the subway to the bus, so the machine will say transfer OK and give you your ticket. The city enforces this ticketing system by randomly boarding buses and giving fines to people who don't have tickets, so make sure you keep this ticket with you the whole time you're on the bus. When the bus approaches, look for Q70 and LaGuardia on the marquee. Looks like this is our bus. There's a luggage rack in the middle where you can put your suitcase. And now we can just sit or stand until we get to the airport, which is the next stop. The bus makes stops at each terminal, B, D, and C usually in that order unless there's construction. I'm going to get off at Terminal B. And here we are at LaGuardia Terminal B. The ride took us a little less than an hour, but you should budget more time in case something doesn't go smoothly. I usually budget one and a half or two hours just to be safe. We got all the way here for the price of a subway ticket and we saved about 50 bucks versus taking a cab. If you're planning a trip to New York, make sure to check out my website nonstopnewyork.com for more NYC travel advice to help you plan an easy and unforgettable trip. I also have all the steps we just went through written out in a guide at nonstopnewyork.com slash subway. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and have a great time while you're here.